Hey there, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how you can fade away an image into another image or just simply to apply like transparency at the edge of the image. This is a pretty simple way to do. We will try to use mask. This way we can do it in a non-destructive way. It will be still editable for you so we can make changes later on. So let's take a look. Here I am in Affinity Photo version 2. That's the desktop version, but it's quite similar on your iPad. So you can follow this even if you are on iPad, you should figure it out. Okay, so here's my picture. And the base method of fading out picture is to simply click on the layer of the image. And then at the bottom here is a special button for the mask layer. Click on that and there will be mask layers stick to that image. By default, this should be white. White means I'm showing what is on the layer. Black, I'm hiding what is on the layer. So as you can guess, if we can make a nice gradient between white and black, we got a smooth transparency that is like fading away. So let's try to do that. Keep in mind, now the layer is selected. But now, only the mask is selected. So select only the mask, gradient tool, and by default, this should be black and white gradient. As you can see, the black part is now faded away. Let's move it other way around, maybe like that. And we can manipulate this gradient to simply fade away part of this image. Everything that is black on the mask will be transparent, everything that's white will be solid, everything in between will be like semi-transparent. So that's really nice way. And let's say there's another image. Actually, I got a layer two with another image. If I turn it on, as you can see, now we can see through that and we got this fading effect, like one picture fading into another one. And of course we can control that with this gradient here. Right now it's going to be really sharp or really smooth if the gradient is longer. So that's how you can fade one image into another just using a simple mask layer and a black and white gradient. I know some of you guys sometimes want to like fade the image around. So let's explore that as well. I'm going to simply delete that. And the mask disappear. I can see the whole image now. What if you want to do it all around? Let's select this whole layer. So I will select all. And now from the same selection menu, I can grow or shrink selection. So let's use that slider to shrink the selection nicely. Apply. And with this selection in place, let's click the same thing. Let's add the mask layer and by default, everything selected will be white and outside the selection will be black already. So that's nice. Let's deselect. I can use command D for that. Okay. But we need this to be like fading away. This is way too sharp. So what can we do? We can, for example, apply a blur. So if I head down here, and pick the Gaussian Blur, moving slider. Oh no, as you can see, this blur apply on everything below. So on the image as well. No worries. Just simply open this layer with the image. And as you can see, there's mask inside. Click on the blur and drag and drop it on that mask. Not above, not below, on the mask. And now the mask is blurred. Take a look, the line at the edge is nice and blurry, so it's kind of fading away. And if something is below, we can see that another image. All right, so that's one way. How about if you want the rough, not a smooth fade away? So let's do the same thing we did before. I click on the image, add the mask, put some kind of gradient, maybe this time, this direction. All right, we got smooth gradient, but you want this to be rough, got texture. We can use a brush with a texture. So let's sense for something like that, like texture brush. All right. And then we can 
click on the mask, not on the layer, on the mask again, brush tool, and we can just try to apply this brush with black and white color to give it more texture. Take a look. And now I can switch to white color and do it other way around if I want. And we kind of applying this texture. All right. And now this image is fade away, but with very strong texture here. So that's transparent, but with the texture. Okay, so what if there is something below? So let's put the image below. It will pop up like that. All right. So that's still actually fade away with the texture. So some people want to do something artistic like this. And that's how you can do it. I pick a first brush I can see here, but of course you can be more precise with brush, brush selection and you can spend time doing this texture mask to match your needs. Bye. But all of that is a basic way of creating pictures that are fading away. All right. I hope this video was helpful. Keep in mind there are more than 60 tutorials for Affinity Photos, so don't forget to check the playlist and I hope I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.